Hello everyone, this is Mihaela with Art of Experiencing. I cannot believe what I just heard. Meghan Markle is expecting that her husband, Prince Harry, should get some sort of an award for reading his book, Spare. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously, how much do you have to be ignorant? How much ignorance do you have to have as a human being to be able to even think that? Do you know what that means for the rest of the people who actually are doing something because they have talent? Oh my God, the fictional world, these two duo the duo live in is beyond understanding to any rational, normal human being. I could not even dream to say, I deserve to get an Oscar for teaching. I should get an Oscar for teaching. Why can't I get an Oscar for teaching? Why not? Why couldn't I say that? Just the fact that they have a platform due to their roles having to do with the royal family. They get to say and they get to convince themselves that they're above everybody else. Above everybody else. They should get awards for bowing. for five seconds, mocking Prince Harry should get an award for reading his book, Spare, that only had to do with the fact that he is a prince, read by people because he is a prince with a family the royal family he despises, he wants nothing to do with. But they're not going to accept the coronation. They're not going to accept the invitation to the coronation of King Charles because they need, they are demanding, demanding to be put on the balcony with the rest of the royals. Even though they despise the royals, they want nothing to do. We want nothing to do with the royals because we don't want to have to curtsy in front of Princess Catherine. We don't want to have to curtsy before anybody. We are above everybody else. Therefore, we should get an award for reading. They want to get an award for reading. I tell students, I tell actors, filmmakers, other professionals, whenever they come to sessions, from the very first beginning, when you're taking a book, when you're taking a script, you are not a reader. The first lesson in acting is learn how to take the words off of the page and make contact, eye contact with the audience, make eye contact with the imaginary person you are speaking to. If it's a monologue, if it's a scene, make eye contact, watch the behavior of the other person on stage with you, the other character. So the first lesson that anybody learns as an actor as a public speaker, is to not just read and look down at the book, but to know how to give yourself that pause where you can take the first word, if that's the only word that you can memorize, take it off the page, give it to the audience, give it to the other character you are playing the scene with. And here are Prince Harry and 
B-lister celebrity Meghan Markle wanting an award so deserving for Prince Harry reading reading his book because he was spectacular he was so spectacular they should come up with a an award with a new category they should come up with a new category for him that's what they should do they should how dare they did not invite them to the Oscars 2023 how dare those people did not invite them to the Oscars. How dare did they not come up with a category for readers? The category for Prince Harry and Meghan. New added category for an Oscar, for an Emmy, for a Tony. I think they should put all of them. They should put the Oscar. They should put the Emmy. They should put the... Tony Award, they should put them all in one and come up with a new award category for people who can read. The category for best reader. That's how I think they should solve this problem so that Megan can get her wish, so that Prince Harry can get his wish to be nominated. I mean, why not? They're getting away with everything else. Maybe I'm not understanding, but maybe they're just not mortals. Maybe they are immortal. They are above humans and they can do whatever they want. They can say one thing. They can do completely the opposite thing. And they are still being taken into consideration by King Charles. Instead of King Charles taking the initiative, taking the new approach towards them, as any actor would do in any character they would portray if they had to deal with such characters or such characterless people as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I don't understand why that's not happening. Do you know how unfair it is to know that people of immense talent are out there who would give anything to have the platform that these two have. And they would be able to do it so much justice. They would be able to do so much good because of their talent, because of their craft. These two are the most boring people. These two are the most victims of any people I have ever heard of or seen in my entire life. How is that possible? Why is it possible? How is it possible? Crazy, crazy. That's what I think should be happening. I think that everybody should bow down to the two of them as they want us to bow down as they want everybody to bow down to the two of them and come up with a new category for them uh, crazy i was gonna talk about i usually get so inspired from my classes when i teach and i'm always finding so much more myself as a teacher than sometimes i expect to in the classes we were working in one of the classes on scripts. We had actors come to the classes with uh, directing actors for them to be able to understand the process of the actors much better. So we bring actors for the half part of the semester. And what was so revealing to me again and again, because I knew this, I was just trying to work on a script with 
someone who had written a script. So he happens to be the writer because he wrote his own script based on his life. The main character is himself. And he also wanted to be the actor. So he's the writer and he's the actor. And it is so difficult when you actually are the one who is the writer to then be able to change the hat from the writer to the hat of the actor because you become so limited in the way that you imagine your script to be thinking that it has to be one way. So when you go to try to do the acting part in it, you stay within the limits of what you wrote. And I think by staying within the limits of the writer, rather than allow yourself to detach, allow yourself to go outside of that for the purpose of you acting in it and receive the script as if somebody else wrote it, which will give you so much more information. It will reveal to you the writer through you, the actor, how much more there is in the script. There are so many times when I worked with writers on different films, different plays, original plays and scripts, and they came in with a preconceived, already formed understanding of what they thought their script was about. When they gave themselves the permission to sit back and let other actors interpret it and find out what else was there beyond the lines that they wrote. The writers are so welcoming to receive the work of the actors. They're so welcoming to receive the work that the actors will bring to their own writing. But I think it takes a very brave human being to be able to do that. Because I think our tendency as people, and that will then flow into our tendency as actors, as teachers of acting, as artists, is to believe that we can hold on, that we can control what our specific artistic project is, it's much more difficult to let go of it because we are conditioned as human beings to feel that we are in control in our lives, but we're not. So because we cannot control our lives, we can make plans with what we want to do. We can make arrangement but then life takes over and all of those can be pushed to the side and other surprising wonderful things happen that we haven't even considered maybe to be free and open to that is very difficult to do like I said because of the conditioning that we've had because of the conditioning that we have as people unless you train yourself <laughs> like athletes have to train themselves. Al Pacino was giving an interview and he was being asked about his art and he was being asked about method acting. He said that what he knows of method acting and what he realizes about acting is that, yes, it matters so much that you want that, you want to do it. It matters so much that you have a passion for it. That's the most important thing in the beginning. But then what does it take to continue to be able to have a successful acting career and when I mean a successful acting career I'm referring to to be able to keep working and working and working and he gave the example of well how do you get to Carnegie Hall how do musicians get to Carnegie Hall they don't just get there they work they 
keep on training. Therefore, the actors, the writers, the artists, they have to know that they have to allow themselves to keep on learning and not be so confident that they know it all. So going back to the writer who's writing a script, if you think that you already have the script as is, without wanting to find any other subtleties in it, without wanting to find the interpretation that the actors might bring to that what you wrote, if you think that your script is what it is, and that's the end of it, then what is the purpose of actually taking it and giving it to actors to interpret it? What is the purpose of rehearsing with actors to see what else is there? Then just play in it yourself. You be the actor and do the reading of the script, going back to the reading of the book of Spare. If you're just going to accept actors to read your script without following the formula, there's a formula to the madness. There's a formula to method acting. There's a formula to acting. It was no coincidence that Stanislavski came up with a system for actors. It was no coincidence that Lee Strasberg came up with a manual with a method for actors. As everybody else in any other profession, you have to train. You have to follow the methodology of what great acting is and it has proven to bring those actors those deserving actors to get to the oscars to get to the tony awards to get to the emmys there is a formula it's not a rigid formula where two plus two it has to equal four all the time but there is a formula there's a blueprint that you can follow and then you can also adjust it. You are following the blueprint to be able to solve a problem you are dealing with as an actor. The formula, if I'm just to think about what comes into my mind right now, in a scene, if you do not have a goal in the scene, if you don't have something that you want to obtain from the other person, or if you do not have something that you want to obtain from yourself, if it's a monologue, then there's nowhere to go. You don't have anywhere to go. If in obtaining that goal, you don't have obstacles, you don't have physical obstacles you don't have mental obstacles you don't have emotional obstacles within yourself or you don't have obstacles that the other person the other character is giving you and you must overcome them or you at least must try to overcome them there's no drama there's no conflict nobody's going to be interested for more than five minutes it's going to end up being boring very boring it's going to end up being a reading the same way that Harry, Prince Harry, was reading his book. The same thing would happen between actors just reading, reading, reading a scene with nothing there to work for. In everyday life, we people have to work for something every day. In everyday life, we are faced with obstacles, smaller obstacles, bigger obstacles that we have to overcome in order to then go to the overall objective. The big objective, it requires small obstacles that you have to overcome every day to reach the first small objective. So then you can get to the overall objective that you want to get. That's what happens subconsciously. That's the way that we comport ourselves in everyday life. So why wouldn't it be understood that's what great acting is requiring. I mean, the whole great acting is very well defined in the fact that Stanislavski called it 
so he can make it more specific to be understood. He called it art of experiencing, meaning you have to experience real human behavior in the fictional stories. I don't understand why people don't get it. I don't understand why people get so upset when I am being so specific about wanting them to go for those specific details. Because in the end, in the final product, which the film is or the play is or a show is or a TV series is, that is what is going to end up winning the awards. That is what is going to end up winning audiences because they will be able to identify with those people. If you're just a reader, if you're just reading scenes from something that you wrote and you want actors or you want yourself as an actor and another actor to just read the scene from the beginning and not have any of those things, to work on that I've talked about, then people would just stay home. Spectators would not have to go watch actors interpret the script. They could just be at home reading the script, reading those scripts. I mean, I don't understand why this is so hard to understand. Why is it so hard to understand? This is such a wonderful thing, you know, that I'm still experiencing the difficulty in the way that I come across trying to make that clear. So I'm continuing to learn how to go about doing that and make the students, make the artist, the filmmaker understand the benefits of trying different things using the elements of the formula that I've mentioned in addition to making the place that I've talked about in one of my recent videos, making the place, the physical place, personal to you. Because the place is so important. The place will provide how to start acting. The place will give you the action that you might not know the character needs to do in that moment. I just wanted to do a little bit of a reminder for myself of the lesson that I've learned this week. And that is, we are so fixated on thinking that acting is just reading. Acting is supposed to be easy. The scene work between two people is just beautiful because we read it perfectly. No obstacles to overcome, no goal to try to get to no personalization of any kind let's just read the scene well if you're going to read the scene then don't waste my time by doing that don't waste other people's time whom I want to have their script being worked on and would allow themselves to be open to what there is even with the trying if rehearsed different ways using all these things that I've mentioned, you realize that what the actors are bringing to it is not what you envisioned as the writer. You can at least say, well, I've tried that. I've tried that interpretation. And I would rather go back to what I thought my script was about. But at least you will have a factual thing to base your thinking and to base your Okay, I'm going to do it the way that I thought I wanted to do it because I'm the writer and I'm the actor and this is my project. I just wanted to be a reading between two people in a casual way. When the writing tells you otherwise, the writing was so beautifully done in this particular case that I was talking about. And when I was giving the writer, now the actor, the feedback and I was saying you as the actor now have to do justice to you as the writer because your writing is so in-depth it's so profound it's so original so authentic so do it justice what are you talking about I thought it went perfectly well the first time that we did it and I thought she was perfectly wonderful in it why would you want to do it another time the same way then I don't have time to do that let other people who are open to the process 
and give them the time if you don't want to take the time to discover, if you don't want to take the time to find out something in your script that you might not even have thought of when you wrote it. Because it's one thing to write the script and it's another thing to then act it out. If you are satisfied with the reading of it, go ahead, do it. Do a reading of it. And like I said before, the same way the duo of Meghan, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, they allegedly, supposedly are wanting to be awarded for the reading of the Book of Spare, then I think we should make a category for the best readers. There should be a category. So for those people, producers who are doing all these shows who are producing all these shows please think about doing a category for the best readers oh, what a brilliant idea thank you everyone i am so excited spring is here ha ha ha